Hey everyone, this is Daniel and this is my third presentation for the third weekly challenge app and you guys can do the exact same by putting in these two hashtags and recording your video. Um, so this week's challenge is really good one. Um, I like what they've asked. They said, uh, what are the simple steps to build an existing app using Power Apps? Um, so since this is the third challenge, I thought I'll go ahead and mention three different points. So here's the first one is, are you replacing an existing process? And the reason is if you are, then they've already got some way to store the data. A great example is Excel spreadsheets. If they're storing the data in the Excel spreadsheets and you already have a backend database table schema figured out, and yes, you can add some bells and whistles which Power Apps um, has to offer, but the basic work of storing the data is already figured out. So ask that question first and take that information from them so you already got something to work with. The next one is decide upfront if it's gonna be a desktop, tablet, or phone app. Now, yes, there's a lot of responsive design capabilities available, uh, but where you're going to struggle with is a tablet or a desktop app cannot be used as a phone app. Uh, now, I say that because a tablet one with the 4 by 3 screen ratio, you can still make that work on a desktop as well, um, but a 4 by 3 ratio is not going to work on an iPhone or a smartphone over there. Things are just going to get all whacked out over there. So make sure that that decision is made up front uh, before you even start working on it. And then finally, when you start working on it, initially just build the bare bones, just the fundamental app, so that when you build it, the end users will know what you are building, and then you guys are in sync as far as what the app is, what the design is gonna be. And then in the end, you know, make it fancy, add all the nice bells and whistles, you know, and then also, once you know exactly what the data is gonna be stored, then you can decide on what the backend database is as well. But initially, just build a simple app, bare bones, uh, and then after that, go ahead and enhance it. So once again, my name is Daniel Christian, and these are my three steps to build a simple and uh, powerful app. Thanks.